Hi, it's Dr. Miller here, and I'm uh, very excited to talk to you about a subject quite dear and near to my heart, uh, something that's actually responsible for having been influencing, or something that influenced me into going to facial plastic surgery, and something that influences greatly why people who come in asking for facial plastic surgery, and that subject is photography. So uh, photography has changed a lot over the course of the years. Uh, believe it or not, I, I first got into it back in the 1980s, um, with, a, with an old-fashioned 35 millimeter camera, ones that you actually had to develop, and I had a dark room in college, and I developed black and white pictures. So I've been doing it for a really long time, and I know a fair amount of photography. I'm, I'm gonna show you some things that have sort of changed over the years. This, this is an old-fashioned brownie camera uh, that I have. Um, this wasn't mine, but I just thought it was really beautiful, so I bought it, and you would look down here to see people, and uh, I'm sorry, and then and take a picture with that. Uh, then back in the, I think, late 1970s or so, you had the Polaroid camera. You could shoot here, look in through here, and, and take uh, that. I have some really old cameras as well, but not, not here. Um, and then this is something much more uh, common that you would expect, 35 millimeter uh, or, or I'm sorry, a digital camera with a zoom lens. And this is, this is sort of the topic of the conversation that I'm gonna have right now, which is a zoom lens. And people have heard of that before, but a zoom lens changes the focal length of the lens, okay? And this all has to do with facial plastic surgery, I promise, just, just be patient. So, so, so the, the, the focal length of the lens can change in a zoom lens. And when it's really wide angle, or let's phrase it the other way, when, when you have a telephoto lens, you're accustomed to that. That's the kind of lenses that are used in sports when you're getting real up close to someone's face even though the photographer is way on the other side of the end zone. Um, or at a baseball player when uh, they're about to hit a home run and the photographer is again all the way in left field. So that's a telephoto lens. But then there's something called a wide angle lens. And a wide angle means that if I'm standing here and sort of looking straight ahead, I'm, you know, my image is only around this far, right? I can only sort of see, you know, maybe at a 45 or a 90 degree. But a wide-angled lens gives you an even wider perspective. It makes it look that you can see much more of the room. And that's what a wide-angled lens does. Now, in these brand new amazing days of the iPhone and these other cameras, these lenses are all wide angled lenses so that when you, for example, take a, a snapshot of yourself, a selfie, it not only takes, it's not only just your face, but it's of all your friends. So what's the ramifications of that? Hence this presentation, okay? So we're gonna take a look at this gentleman. I don't know who he is, but he did this great photographic work uh, uh, that I found online, so thank you so very much. I really appreciate it and I want to give you, uh, but he's a, he's a good looking guy, right? And, and then he's next to someone who isn't such a good looking guy, okay? Um, and it doesn't take much, perhaps, after having done that uh, introduction to you that you realize this is actually the same person, okay? It's the same person with the camera at two different distances using two different lenses. So this is a telephoto lens where the person is standing around 200 meters away, but the lens is coming much closer to his face. And this is a wide-angled lens that's being held around 20 centimeters from his face, but it's really, really wide. And look at the distortion. That's what matters. Look at the unbelievable distortion of his nose. And it is the same person. The only thing that is different here and Maris, if you want it, you can come in even a little closer to, to, to show this. The only thing that's different between these two photographs is simply that you have a different lens. The lenses are put in, uh, lenses are listed as millimeter. A 50 millimeter lens is basically the same distance as your eyes or, or the same sort of perspective as your eyes. There's not a lot of zooming in there. There's no wide angle component to it. So an 85 millimeter, that's a telephoto, you're zooming in a little bit. A 35 millimeter, that's a little bit more wide. A 16 millimeter is, is even wider. And uh, 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 once you start getting down to an eight millimeter, that's called a fish eye lens. And that's because that's what fishes actually see. A fish has a great view, a great field of vision, but it's distorted. So to me, this is just amazing. This is the same nose in every single one of these cases, 
and yet it looks so unbelievably different. And the reason it looks different has nothing to do with, obviously, the patient. This guy didn't have any surgery, right? It has nothing to do with the patient. It has to do with the camera, the lens. And even though photography has changed over the years, the one thing that hasn't changed at all is the effect that these lenses have on our face and the distortion that it creates on the body. So don't use, the lesson here is don't let yourself be fooled into thinking that you look not your best when you're taking a picture with a very wide angled lens that's real close. Which means, in common terms, when you've got your phone and you're only holding it a certain distance from your face and you're taking a picture, it's not most likely going to be very attractive, particularly when you've got the lights off and you've got really bad shadows everywhere. That's the worst. That's the worst. So hope you enjoyed the lesson uh, about photography and about its effect on facial plastic surgery. I'm Dr. Miller. Have a great night. Bye-bye.